Hello. October 31st is only eight weeks away, which means I can officially start my two month celebration of Halloween. Which also means I only have like 50 something days to get ready for our Halloween party. Which also means I'll be doing Halloween DIYs on this channel in the next two months. So if you know anybody else who celebrates Halloween for two months, send this video to them. Maybe they'll like it. With that out of the way, let's make a Halloween flag. I made five of these Halloween flags. One out of an old pallet, and then the other four were out of some junk I had lying behind my shop. If you don't have any junk or don't feel like taking a pallet apart, you can go to your local store and grab some cedar fence posts, which work great for this project. And if you don't have a table saw, you can go to your local big box store and just pick up one by two furring strips and use those for the stripes. You would just have to cut those to length. So this first one, I just wanted to show that you could use a pallet, so I broke down this pallet, which was a huge pain in my ass because it was oak. Once I had it apart, I set my table saw to one and a half inches and started cutting out my stripes. Once I finished cutting all my stripes to their width, I brought them over to the miter saw and cut them to length. I'll put details to all the sizes I used in the description below, but really, you could do whatever you feel like with this project, whatever you think looks right. I painted the stripes orange and black, alternating back and forth, and then moved on to creating the panel. Now you can easily glue up some pallet pieces to create a panel for this next part. It's a lot of piece. Pallet, panel, part. Or you can just go behind your workshop and find a piece of wood that works for it in that huge pile of trash you have lying behind your workshop, if you're anything like me. I cut it to size and then I drew on my jack-o'-lantern face and it was time to start cutting it out. I used a jigsaw to cut out the jack-o'-lantern's face and like I said, I made five of these flags. The other four I did not use a pallet for. I just had scrap wood laying around behind my workshop that I used. And for each one, I cut out a different style of jack-o'-lantern face. One I even made into a skeleton face, which is my least favorite. But last time I made these, that was the one that sold first, so I figured I'd make one more. Once I had all my pieces cut out, I grabbed some plywood that I had laying around, and I spray painted the plywood where it would show through the jack-o'-lantern face with yellow, white, orange, I think some red, to just kind of give it a flame look. Now that I had them all glued and nailed on to the plywood, all that was left to do was put a black frame around the flag, add some poly, and put some wire on the back to hang these up. And with that, this project was all done. You can get this job done with just a jigsaw, handsaw, and some nails. If you don't have a table saw, just go out and get those furring strips. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and watch out for your other Halloween DIY videos on this channel for the next two months while I convert our barn into a haunted house for our Halloween party. See you in the next one. Later. Bye. See you again. And have a good dream.